Hey guys, welcome back to Master Game of VR. We are once again in Contractors, and we are going to take a look at the stock calibration. I have my uh, ProTube here, and we are going to uh, see if we can calibrate this thing. Okay, so I've been tinkering around with the, the calibration, trying to figure it out. It's very, very simple, actually. Uh, so you open up your, your menu here. Uh, you go to, you're going to be here, let's, let's go here, reset. Uh, so you got to go to control, you're going to scroll all the way down, you're going to turn using gun stock on and off, so you can toggle between using it or not, uh, without resetting all of your settings. Uh, and then you just go to calibrate gun stock. Uh, and I've already got this uh, calibrated, so we're going to jump to a different one. Let's, actually, I don't have the M16 calibrated, let's calibrate the M16. Uh, okay, so we'll... While the world is in the way there. Uh, gun stock calibration instructions. Let's uh, let's uh, let's set up a loadout with the M16 really quick. Uh, loadouts. Uh, da, 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 da. Loadout two. Uh, G3. Let's go to rifle. M16A4. We'll go with iron sights for now. All of this is good. Um, no, we don't need any of this. I was going to give it something that we could uh, identify it with. Uh, but let's actually, let's go with the ACOG scope. It's a hybrid sight. Let's go with the ACOG. Uh, and we will equip budget remaining five. Let's see why not yeah this is fine we'll go with that we're not here to play with loadouts uh we just want the m16a4 with an acog and once we are done with that we're going to go back into settings control calibrate and now we've got the m16 here with the acog so we're going to select that uh and it pops up the uh the, the weapon in our hand and we're going to take uh, install both controllers into your gun stock. Uh, so we're going to do that. We'll stick them in here, and and you want to lock down your stock so that these don't move. Uh, you don't want them to move after you've set them. So we're going to look. Let's. Uh, we don't really have anything we can aim at, so we're just going to keep these in here. Make sure that they're nice and, and snug, uh, and. Uh, using your touchpad thumbsticks, adjust the weapon angle and offset. So the left trackpad is going to be up and down, basically. And you're probably going to want to align this with the trigger on your trackpad. Uh, and then from there, you're going to want to adjust the angle with the right trackpad. And I don't know why I can't see anything out of the scope. That's very weird to me. That's not going to help me in the slightest uh, to figure out how to align this. So I can't really set this one up, but <clears throat> assuming this is how I wanted it, uh, I would then hold both trigger buttons and we'd be good to go. So let's see. Does this work well? This actually does work well. I don't know why it starts all of these in burst fire mode. It should start this in semi, and then you switch to burst fire if you want. Feel like it shouldn't be directly on the site there, but you know, what do I know. <clears throat> yeah, bring this down. Nice tight grouping. I like it. Let's go ahead and play a game uh, with this, and we will see uh, how well this works. Okay, we're going to do this again, because that last match that uh, that I just jumped into had the worst team ever. Uh, 
I actually ended up uh, being a team killer in that one because they were just so annoying, talking shit so much, and they just they didn't they didn't deserve to talk that that shit. Uh, anyways, that's that's neither here nor there. We're gonna join a different game and hope that they're not there, <clears throat> so that we can actually try this out. Now, uh, I did try the uh, the ACOG, and I wasn't a huge fan. <clears throat> so we're going back to the trusty G3. <clears throat> and it is so much nicer to pull it up and, and know exactly where the site's going to be, and to be able to customize that per per weapon. It kind of sucks that you have to do it per weapon, but it makes sense, and in the long run, it's actually nicer. But hopefully we can get uh, a few nice kills in here. Oh! I smoked you out so they can't see you. Oh, damn it. I'm toast. Ooh, toast is toast. I do wish that uh, the mode switch was remembered between respawns. It's very annoying to have to remember to switch from burst to semi. We'll take that. Just a nice clean match. Get him, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Get him. I'm going to play more watch now. Right. Thank you for the warning. the stock definitely saved my ass in that fight. Oh, we got one coming right side. I just saw him across the street. So. Oh, one behind. 
down to one to lose to Barbara back. Shooting from? Uh, stairs, stairs. Down. Oh, I got killed by the guy in the door. Alright. So this is working out. Very well. This game. Definitely a couple of times of, of quick reaction. The quick reaction is really where this uh There's one up top on the scaffolding, just peeking a set over. Really comes into play. They're not gonna be able to get a shot on them. Yeah, DJ. Nice. Where did you get shot from left side? Behind me. Thank you. Straight ahead. He's model flash. Taking fire from the left side too. We're just too deep there. We got two more coming up that street where we died. Go through the house or just get the next um, objective. Yeah. Two more were coming down the uh, where we just died. Send you an after objective. Okay. One up there. Two more down.
to be up here. Hey, victory. Okay, so that worked really well. The adjustment to exactly where the rifle lined up uh, on, on your stock, uh, you're going to want to make sure that your stock is nice and tight. Most of these are very, uh, very flexible. Uh, you're going to want to, with this system, uh, have them locked down so that you can't move them at all. Uh, or get one of those 3D printed uh, stocks or one of those DIY PVC pipe stocks, ones that aren't going to allow for any movement or any wiggle room. Towards the end of that match, uh, I actually adjusted the uh, the front uh, cup. <clears throat> this cup right here, I moved it down a little bit uh, on accident, and I had difficulties getting it lined up. So you definitely want to make sure that you crank these down and tighten them as tight as they're going to go. Uh, but other than that one caveat, this system worked really, really well. You're going to have to do it for each and every single weapon in the game and probably each and every single different site for the game. Uh, I don't know if each individual site is going to have its own customization or you'll have to recalibrate. Uh, either way, it was very quick and very simple and very easy. And the more you do it, the, the quicker and the simpler and easier it'll be. You'll get to figure out exactly where you want it, exactly how you want it. And where this really shines is, like you saw, when he started calling on your right, on your right, I was able to, to, to pivot and quickly come up and just engage really quickly, really flawlessly, without having to think about where I'm aiming, because I always know that when I pull it up to this, this position, I always know where it's going to be. Always know it's always in the same spot. I don't have to fiddle with it. And, and your reaction time just goes up. The downside, of course, is having to yank your controller out to grab a mag and, and, and fight with this to, to get a mag back in the, uh, uh, the rifle, or you know, yank this out and then yank this out, and then try and grab a grenade, pull the pin, throw it, and then, okay, let me get it back in the hole here, okay, and then it, it, it makes handling, it makes weapon handling, better but handling your weapon and, and and doing other things more difficult so stocks are a trade-off uh, i really 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 like this calibration system though uh, i i was a little hesitant at first because oh my god i'm gonna have to calibrate every single weapon uh, it, and it was kind of a turn off but the more i actually got to think about it and the more i actually processed it that that makes sense each and every weapon is going to be different how it's going to line up with with your your eye and and your arm and how you hold it all of it's going to be slightly different so the the very fine custom controls that you have for it were great really enjoyed it really liked it uh i really do hope that more shooters incorporate this calibration in their system. Great idea, guys. Loved it. Uh, and if you love this video, please hit that like, some comment down below. Let me know what you think of the rifle calibration. Uh, if you are inclined to support the channel, there are a plethora of ways in the description to do so. Join Discord, come chat, come request videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.